Do you know how fragile the balance of power can be? Welcome to Dark Truth TV, where we delve into the hidden stories that shape our world. Today, we're unveiling the devastating impact of political and social instability on people's lives through a real-life event that might just change the way you see the world. Stay with us as we journey through a gripping tale of chaos and survival, where the stakes are higher than you could ever imagine. To truly understand the catastrophic consequences of political and social instability, let's dive into the harrowing story of Venezuela. Picture this, a country that was once the jewel of Latin America, teeming with wealth and potential. But beneath the surface, seeds of destruction were quietly being sown. Decades of political mismanagement, rampant corruption, and short-sighted economic policies set the stage for an unprecedented collapse. Corruption became the norm, with government officials siphoning off resources meant for the public. Trust in institutions eroded, leaving citizens feeling betrayed and powerless. As the government prioritized short-term gains over sustainable growth, the economy teetered on the edge of disaster. Hyperinflation spiraled out of control, the national currency plummeted in value, and the collapse of oil prices, Venezuela's economic lifeline, struck the final blow. The result? A nation in turmoil. Basic necessities like food and medicine became scarce, and social unrest erupted into widespread protests and violent crackdowns. As the crisis deepened, millions of Venezuelans fled their homeland, desperate for a chance at stability and a better life. This is not just a story of economic failure, it's a tale of human suffering on an unimaginable scale. Hyperinflation skyrocketed, rendering the national currency nearly worthless and making basic goods unaffordable for the average citizen. In a desperate attempt to control the situation, Maduro's government imposed price controls and nationalized key industries. However, these measures only stifled economic activity further, leading to widespread shortages and deepening the crisis. As public discontent grew, opposition forces galvanized, accusing Maduro of gross incompetence and rampant corruption. The power struggle reached a boiling point with accusations of authoritarianism, election fraud, and human rights abuses against Maduro's regime. The 2018 presidential election, in which Maduro claimed victory, was widely condemned as fraudulent by both domestic and international observers. Juan Guaido, the opposition leader, declared the election illegitimate and proclaimed himself interim president, quickly gaining recognition from numerous countries. In response, Maduro's government launched a brutal crackdown on dissent. Opposition leaders were arrested, protests were violently suppressed, and reports of human rights abuses, including torture and extrajudicial killings, surfaced. The international community intervened with sanctions and diplomatic efforts to pressure Maduro to step down. This deadly combination of economic collapse and political repression plunged Venezuela deeper into chaos, leaving millions of citizens in dire straits. Venezuela's economic troubles are deeply rooted in its heavy reliance on oil, a resource that has been both a blessing and a curse for the nation. Boasting the largest proven oil reserves in the world, Venezuela's economy was heavily dependent on oil exports for decades. Under Hugo Chavez, oil revenues funded extensive social programs and subsidies, initially lifting many Venezuelans out of poverty. However, these initiatives were often poorly planned and unsustainable, setting the stage for future disaster. The nationalization of the oil industry and other key sectors drove away foreign investment and stifled innovation. By the time Nicolas Maduro took power, 
the economy was already on shaky ground. Instead of diversifying the economy, Maduro's government continued to rely on oil exports, making the country exceedingly vulnerable to global oil price fluctuations. When oil prices plummeted in 2014, the impact on Venezuela was catastrophic. The government's response, printing more money to cover budget deficits, only led to hyperinflation. Price controls and nationalization of businesses further disrupted supply chains, causing severe shortages of basic goods. The state-owned oil company, PDVSA, suffered from chronic underinvestment, corruption, and mismanagement. Maintenance of oil facilities was neglected, leading to a significant decline in production capacity. Skilled professionals were replaced with political loyalists, further degrading the company's efficiency. As oil revenues dwindled, the government struggled to maintain social programs and subsidies, exacerbating the economic crisis. The combination of falling oil prices, hyperinflation, and a collapsing oil industry plunged millions of Venezuelans into poverty and hunger, forcing many to flee the country in search of better opportunities. What could have been a temporary economic downturn turned into a protracted humanitarian crisis, highlighting the devastating effects of economic mismanagement and over-reliance on a single resource. As Venezuela's economy spiraled out of control, desperation gripped its citizens. The collapse of the oil industry, coupled with hyperinflation and widespread shortages of food, medicine, and other essentials, created unbearable living conditions. Millions of Venezuelans struggled to survive, with many scavenging for food and unable to afford basic necessities. The dire situation ignited a series of massive protests. Starting in earnest around 2014, these protests grew in size and intensity over the following years, becoming a regular part of life in Venezuela. People took to the streets, demanding basic rights, access to essential goods, and political change, blaming President Nicolas Maduro and his government for their suffering. The government's response was swift and brutal. Security forces, including the National Guard and police, were deployed to suppress dissent. Protesters were met with tear gas, rubber bullets, and, in many cases, live ammunition. Reports of arbitrary arrests, beatings, and torture of detainees surged. This heavy-handed approach aimed to intimidate the population and discourage further protests, but often had the opposite effect, galvanizing opposition and drawing more people into the streets. One of the most significant waves of protests erupted in 2017, sparked by the Supreme Court's decision to strip the opposition-controlled National Assembly of its powers, a move widely seen as consolidating Maduro's authoritarian rule. The ensuing protests were some of the largest in Venezuelan history, with hundreds of thousands of people participating across the country. The security forces' response was particularly harsh, resulting in dozens of deaths and thousands of injuries. International human rights organizations documented numerous instances of excessive force, unlawful killings, and other abuses by security forces. Despite the government's attempts to quell the protests through violence and intimidation, the resilience and determination of the Venezuelan people persisted. The brutal crackdowns only highlighted the deepening crisis and the lengths to which the government would go to maintain its grip on power. As protests raged on, the international community took notice. Many countries and organizations condemned the violence and called for investigations into human rights abuses. However, the Maduro government remained defiant, framing the protests as part of a foreign-backed plot to overthrow the government and destabilize the country. 
This narrative was used to justify the ongoing repression and rally support among Maduro's loyalists. The protests and the government's violent response further polarized Venezuelan society, deepening the divisions between government supporters and the opposition. The cycle of desperation, protest, and repression became a defining feature of life in Venezuela, contributing to the ongoing instability and suffering of its people. As the political and economic turmoil in Venezuela intensified, the country plunged into a deepening humanitarian crisis. Imagine a nation where the collapse of the economy and government mismanagement led to widespread shortages of food, medicine, and other essential goods. This scarcity hit the most vulnerable populations the hardest, including children, the elderly, and those with chronic illnesses. Hospitals and clinics across the country faced severe shortages of medical supplies, equipment, and medications. Healthcare professionals struggled to provide even basic care, transforming many hospitals into scenes of desperation. Patients lay in corridors and makeshift beds as preventable diseases like malaria, measles, and diphtheria resurfaced due to the lack of vaccinations and proper medical care. The maternal mortality rate surged, and malnutrition became a pervasive issue, particularly among children. The food crisis was equally dire. Picture supermarkets with empty shelves, and when food was available, it was prohibitively expensive due to hyperinflation. Many families were forced to eat less, skip meals, or rely on scarce government-provided food rations, which were often insufficient. The Maduro diet, a term coined by Venezuelans, reflected the forced weight loss experienced by the population due to inadequate nutrition. The collapse of public services further exacerbated the crisis. Frequent power outages left entire regions without electricity for days at a time, disrupting daily life and causing further chaos in hospitals and other critical facilities. Water shortages became common, forcing people to rely on unsafe water sources, increasing the risk of waterborne diseases. The humanitarian crisis also triggered a mass exodus of Venezuelans seeking refuge in neighboring countries. By 2018, over 3 million people had fled, creating one of the largest displacement crises in the world. These refugees and migrants faced numerous challenges, including xenophobia, exploitation, and precarious living conditions in their host countries. The strain on regional resources and infrastructure further complicated efforts to provide adequate support for those fleeing the crisis. International aid organizations attempted to intervene, but the Maduro government often blocked or restricted their efforts, citing concerns over sovereignty and accusing foreign powers of using humanitarian aid as a pretext for intervention. This obstructionism limited the impact of aid and left many in dire need without assistance. Despite these immense challenges, local communities and grassroots organizations mobilized to provide support and relief where possible. They organized food drives, set up community kitchens, and distributed essential supplies to those in need. Their efforts, while crucial, were often insufficient to meet the vast scale of the crisis. The international community responded with calls for increased humanitarian aid and diplomatic pressure on the Maduro government to allow for unfettered access to assistance. Sanctions imposed by the United States and other countries aimed to pressure the government to change its policies but also had the unintended consequence of further damaging the already fragile economy complicating the situation for ordinary Venezuelans. The deepening humanitarian crisis in Venezuela serves as a stark reminder of the profound human cost of political and economic instability. 
The suffering experienced by millions of Venezuelans underscores the urgent need for comprehensive solutions that address both the immediate humanitarian needs and the underlying causes of the crisis. The resilience and determination of the Venezuelan people, in the face of such adversity, highlight the enduring spirit of those striving for a better future amidst the turmoil. As the crisis in Venezuela intensified, millions of Venezuelans embarked on a desperate search for safety and a better life. Over 5 million people fled, creating one of the largest migration crises in modern history. This massive exodus presented severe challenges not only for the refugees but also for the neighboring countries that struggled to accommodate them. These Venezuelans faced treacherous journeys, often traveling on foot through dangerous terrains. Many left with only the clothes on their backs, abandoning their homes, jobs, and loved ones. In the ensuing chaos, families were torn apart, with parents making the agonizing choice of sending their children ahead or deciding who could make the perilous journey. Upon arrival in neighboring countries like Colombia, Brazil, Ecuador, and Peru, refugees encountered a myriad of difficulties. Overcrowded, makeshift camps with limited access to shelter, food, clean water, and sanitation facilities were common. The sudden influx strained local resources and infrastructure, sometimes resulting in tension and hostility toward the new arrivals. Economic hardship was a constant theme. Securing employment was challenging, and many refugees ended up in informal or precarious jobs, often earning meager wages under exploitative conditions. Lacking proper documentation, they were vulnerable to exploitation, abuse, and discrimination. Women and children faced heightened risks, including human trafficking and violence. Healthcare and education posed additional hurdles. Many refugees could not afford medical care or were denied access to local healthcare systems. Children struggled to enroll in schools, and those who did faced language barriers and cultural differences. The psychological strain of displacement, trauma, and uncertainty about the future further compounded the difficulties faced by these families. Despite these immense challenges, the resilience of Venezuelan refugees shone through. Many formed supportive communities, aiding each other in navigating their new environments and finding ways to survive. Grassroots organizations and local NGOs were instrumental in providing assistance and advocacy. International aid agencies also stepped in to address the urgent needs, although the scale of the crisis often overwhelmed their efforts. The responses of host countries varied. Some implemented policies to integrate and support refugees, offering temporary residency permits, work authorization, and access to public services. Others, struggling with limited resources and political opposition, implemented restrictive measures and provided limited support. The international community called for increased funding and coordinated efforts to address the crisis, stressing the need for a comprehensive and humane approach to refugee protection. The refugee crisis had broader implications for the region. The mass movement of people impacted regional stability, economies, and social cohesion. Host countries faced immense pressure on their public services and infrastructure while grappling with the social and political challenges posed by the influx of refugees. The plight of Venezuelan refugees underscores the urgent need for long-term solutions to address the root causes of the crisis. It highlights the necessity of international solidarity, effective humanitarian responses, and policies that promote the protection and integration of refugees. 
The struggles and resilience of the Venezuelan diaspora serve as a powerful reminder of the human cost of political and economic instability and the unyielding quest for safety and dignity amidst profound adversity. Maria's story puts a human face on the Venezuelan crisis, embodying resilience, sacrifice, and the relentless pursuit of a better life. Before the turmoil, Maria lived a modest but stable life in Caracas with her husband, a mechanic, and their three children, Luis, age 10, Camila, age 7, and baby Sofia. Though not wealthy, they were content and hopeful. The collapse of Venezuela's economy shattered their stability. As the value of the Bolivar plummeted, Maria's husband's wages could no longer cover basic necessities. Food prices soared, grocery shelves emptied, and Maria spent hours in line for essentials, often leaving empty-handed. Her children, once healthy and active, began to show signs of malnutrition. As political unrest escalated, life became dangerous. Protests and violence erupted daily, and Maria feared for her children's safety. Schools closed frequently, disrupting education and normalcy. Her husband's involvement in the protests led to his abduction by masked men, leaving Maria alone to fend for her children. Maria decided to flee Venezuela. With few belongings, she and her children embarked on a perilous journey to the Colombian border. They walked for days with little food and water, facing the elements and the threat of violence. Maria carried Sofia on her back while holding Luis and Camila's hands, urging them forward despite exhaustion and hunger. Upon reaching Colombia, they found temporary shelter in a refugee camp. Conditions were harsh, overcrowded tents, limited food, and poor sanitation. Maria struggled to keep her children safe and healthy. Despite the harsh conditions, she remained determined. She sought help from local NGOs and international aid organizations, securing food, medical care, and educational support for her children. She started selling arepas again to fellow refugees and sympathetic locals, earning enough to rent a small room for her family. Maria's resilience turned her into a community advocate. She shared her story to raise awareness about the plight of Venezuelan refugees, leading to increased aid and improved camp conditions. Her efforts and unwavering determination provided a stable environment for her children, who slowly regained a sense of normalcy. Despite the ongoing struggle, Maria's story is one of hope. Her resilience and resourcefulness shine through, highlighting the human spirit's capacity to endure and overcome adversity. Maria's journey underscores the urgent need for international support and solidarity to address the root causes of the crisis and assist those affected by it. The Venezuelan crisis stands as a stark illustration of how political and social instability can devastate a nation. Years of political mismanagement, economic collapse, and social unrest have driven millions from their homes, created a severe humanitarian crisis, and left the country in turmoil. Maria's story, along with those of countless other Venezuelans, highlights the profound human impact of this ongoing catastrophe. The urgent need for a political resolution cannot be overstated. Without a stable and legitimate government, efforts to rebuild the economy and restore social order will remain hampered. It is crucial for the international community to support initiatives that foster dialogue and negotiation, leading to a peaceful and democratic transition of power. Furthermore, international humanitarian support is essential to alleviate the suffering of the Venezuelan people. Countries hosting Venezuelan refugees need assistance to provide adequate services and integration opportunities. 
Inside Venezuela, humanitarian aid must reach those most in need, offering relief from the dire conditions they face daily. As we reflect on the Venezuelan crisis, we are reminded of the importance of stability, good governance, and the protection of human rights. Maria's journey from a struggling mother in Venezuela to a refugee in Colombia underscores the resilience of the human spirit but also the urgent need for action. By addressing the root causes of the crisis and supporting those affected, we can work towards a future where such tragedies are no longer a part of our world. In telling Maria's story, we hope to inspire a sense of empathy and a call to action. Let us strive for a world where political and social instability do not force families to flee their homes, and where every person has the opportunity to live in peace and dignity. The Venezuelan crisis serves as a poignant reminder of the devastating consequences of instability and the collective responsibility we have to foster unity, support, and hope. Maria's story is just one of millions, each marked by loss, hardship, and resilience. The Venezuelan crisis is a human tragedy that demands our attention and action. As you watched her journey, from a struggling mother to a refugee seeking hope in a foreign land, we hope you felt the gravity of her struggles and the urgent need for change. Now, more than ever, we need to come together as a global community. We can no longer turn a blind eye to the suffering of our fellow human beings. Every comment, like, and share helps spread awareness about this crisis and brings us one step closer to making a difference. Please, share your thoughts in the comments below. Have you or someone you know been affected by a similar crisis? What can we do to support those in need? Let's create a conversation that sparks compassion and action. If this story moved you, if Maria's strength and determination touched your heart, show your support by liking this video. Your engagement not only honors Maria's struggle but also helps us reach more people who can join us in this cause. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Dark Truth TV, for more stories that matter. Together, we can shine a light on the world's darkest truths and work towards a brighter future. Thank you for watching, and let's stand in solidarity with the people of Venezuela and all those suffering from political and social instability. Your voice can make a difference.